In this session, we are going to talk about shift and rotate operations. Actually, you can think of these operations as the swift and ro rotate operations of the bits in a memory space towards the way that we would like to do them. These operations actually are the functions that helps us to shift and rotate the bits in a memory spaces in the way that we want and in the quantity that we would like. Now, first of all, let's see where our commands are. Let's actually, let's close this expression and let's close this too. So here you see our shift and rotate commands. So here, as you can see from the, as the name suggests, shift right, shift left, sh rotate right and rotate left. You can have the detailed information by clicking on them if you wish. Actually, we already told you that before. Here, the thing that I would like to tell you, let me let me show you. Here, we can move to move between the commands again. You can choose the data type. Here, the shift right or shift left, the, in general, the shift commands in the principle of working is like this. The the bits that you have in your IN input and N input will it will shift in the number in the number of the value which is written here. For instance, let's say you write five here and it will write five moves, it will shift it five moves, and then it will make the operation and it will write it to output. And besides, in the same way, if we add a rotate command, again here you can choose the choose the data type here. It will it will rotate the bits in the value of n. Now shift and rotate. Maybe at first at the first side you you cannot imagine of anything, but later on we will see how these work and you will remember very well. Here when we make a shift operation, after the shift operation is done, the places of the bits will be zero. So what does it mean? You will see what it means later on. So when you make an operation with a shift command, the places of the bits which are shifted will be empty. The places of the shift which are the places of the bits which are shift will be empty. And when you make a rotation operation, in the places which are rotated, there will be the other bits which are which are going outside. So most important difference between these two is this. While in the shift one, the places of shifted bits are empty, in the rotate one, the places of the bits which are rotated are filled with the rotate filled with their bits from the outside. So this is basically how these two work for now, but we will see in detail soon. Now let's see how the shift and rotate commands are used. The first command is shift right, SHR. So the shift right command moves the value in IN according to the value in the N. For instance, here it is two moves, so it will shift it two. So this is shift right command and according to the value in IN, it shifts the value in IN. Now we will see it, now let's do it like this. Now, now let's see. Now let's do it like this. First, from I00 to, to the inside of the MW4, I send the 152. So 152 is written like this. 00011001. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one, zero. 
So the one, number 100, 152 is written like this. Now, now if, if I turn off the I01, what will happen? The bits here, the bits here that I have will, will be shifted to two moves right. And it, it became 38. So the bits here are shifted two moves. So as you can see, and we ended up my my output, my output here has become 38. These are my Mercury memory spaces. If I use the Q outputs instead of these, instead of these outputs, these outputs would be activated. So this is basically how shift right command is. All right, now let's see another command. Let's see another command. And this command, this command here, you look, shift left. And as the name suggests, it's the opposite of the ones that we showed before. So it's gonna, it's gonna shift it to two moves left here. For instance, for instance, okay, let's, let's write 4,120 here. Let's write 4,120 4, here. And let's download to our PLC. Let's download it to our PLC and let's turn on our simulator. Let's turn on our simulator. We turned on our simulator. Here I sent the signal and I downloaded 4120 in my MW4. So these number are actually from the previous example. So you should assume that these are zeros. When I when I close I zero point one, what happened? When I close it, what happened? The number here. Sorry, actually we made a mistake here. Let's let's correct it. MW four. Let's name it MW four. Let's download it again. Let's download it again. Let's deactivate our inputs from our simulator. We turned on the one string mode. And since it was activated before turning on the monitor, we obtained the value. Here I use the positive edge. You already know what it is actually. It activates the output here instantly. It wrote my 400, 100, 4,120 here. And then after it shifted my 4,120 bits, and it wrote it to the output. And when it shifted towards left, it wrote 16,480. These times, these bits will two moves left. 16,384 plus one, two, plus six to four, one, two, and plus 32, one, two, three. And as you see, it made it 16,480 right and left so this is basically how shift commands are used left and right shift commands now we're gonna see the other commands as well and now we are going to talk about the rotate commands such as rotate right and rotate left so as the name suggests, ROR, which is rotate right, is rotating the value to the right. Actually, we already told you how these are used. 
and now let's check our example here in our OR command let's let's imagine that we our value is 26 here and let's rotate this two bits to the right this is what we want let's download it to our PLC it's downloaded let's let's open our simulator let's deactivate this let's turn on the monitoring mode on we open it we turn it on let's first of all let's send the signal to the i00 and it downloaded to in the 6 downloaded to in the 6 when I when I sent the signal from I0.1 it's what did it do the the bit the bits in the inside of this is retarded rotated to the right actually we already told you it, it is rotating to the right one two and it moves it to here and as you can see the the sign in the beginning has changed and we ended up with a value number value such as 32,762. So this is how rotate right command is used. Now, now let's stop this. Let's let's continue with let's try other command. It is the other command is rotate left, rotate left, R Y L. Actually, we already told you how these are used. The bits are rotated. And when the bits are rotated are filled with the other bits but on the other hand in the shift command when the when the bits are shift shifted the places are empty in rotate left the the values that you write here will be rotated to the left as the name suggests let's let's check our chart here as you can see, I used 4115 number value. Let's download it to our PLC. Here we have 500 value. Actually, rather than 500, let's make it 4115. Now, now let's download it again. Let's open my simulator. When when I when I send this signal, the four four thousand one hundred fifteen is downloaded to this space here, and and the bits in the in four thousand one hundred fifteen are rotated left, and it's written sixteen thousand four hundred sixty value to the output this is how it should be so these were the bits of the number and these bits were rotated left to left so this this and this and if you if you add them all if you make the mathematical calculation it's 16460 okay we let's this time make it 8 Let's see what happens and let's move this 8 value to the left look it's easier it's more apparent so when I rotate the 8 here what we what do we expect it to write let's let's make it like this let's download this here let's turn on the monitoring mod on When I when I downloaded the eight here, it become it became eight as well, and I'm gonna send the signal here as well, and it became thirty two, and it it was rotated two moves left. 
So as you can see on the chart, if we rotate A to 2 moves to the left, it, it becomes 32. So this is basically how these commands are used. Here if we use, instead of M, if we use Q, instead of the address, instead of the address, instead of the address, our bit, our bit was going to give the output. So that's all for this session. Hope to see you in the other sessions.